What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. We are in the middle of KT Pop's unboxing <laughs> part three. In part one, we unboxed and reviewed the light stick from Zykers. Part two, we opened Toz's new album. And for part three, we'll be opening these bad boys. We have Ten's new album, the photo book versions. The photo book versions. Ten is a very popular idol from SM Entertainment. He was originally part of Wavy, which is part of NCT, and is probably one of the more popular idols in NCT. I've always been a really big fan of him. I think he is super, super talented. His dancing is absolutely next level, and his visual obviously is incredible. I thought I'd open these ones today because I actually just recorded my performance of Night <laughs> And honestly, this was one of the most fun dances I've ever learnt. A real creepy kind of vibe, um, real kind of gothic and super challenging, but like such a vibe. I, I felt like I got into the character almost. If you haven't checked out Nightwalker or watched the music video, you really need to because that music video is so freaking cool. The only thing that kind of triggers me about it is that he's working in a lab and so he's got like a kind of lab coat, trench coat on, but he's handling like plates with bacteria and stuff on them and he's not wearing like any gloves or any safety glasses or anything. As a scientist myself, that was rather upsetting. I can't remember now, but there probably was, you know, different All colored liquids. In yeah. And and exactly. No fume cupboards. They're literally like sitting at desks with like computers and papers everywhere with like live bacteria plates open. <laughs> Josh's face. This is when we need a Josh reaction cam. So we have the two photo book versions here. The only thing that's missing, I think, is the little S mini album. I don't like them at all. They're literally just like a little piece of hard plastic with a keychain on it. And I think it's one of those things that's got like a scannable QR code and all that kind of stuff. But it's just like another extra thing that you have to collect as a version. And it's pretty specific just to SM Entertainment. I do have one. It's a member of EXO. I did not buy the 10 one. I just got the photo book versions. Sale price, $25. That is so freaking cheap. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I picked these up from K-pop time when I was there to pick up my Zykus light stick. And I always go in there thinking, I'll just pick up my things and just have a quick walk around. I won't buy anything extra. But then I saw these for $25 and I was like, well, it would be rude not to, right? $41.95. Wait, I was gonna say that's half price. That's not half price. Maths. Maths, maths. Yeah, what a steal. I don't really know much about these. There is one thing that I do know, which is very exciting that there are photo cards of Ten with his cat. I'm really hoping we pull some of those. So I'm gonna use my uh, powers here. I'm pretty good at like manifesting photo cards, so fighting. Which one should we start with, Josh? I like it when you decide. The small one or the big one? Is there extra stuff in the big one? I don't know. I have no idea actually what's like included in these. Ooh, okay, well, this one looks so much cooler. Let's save this one till last. And we'll start with the little baby one. 10, the first mini album. There isn't actually a title for this album. It's just called 10, the first mini album. And then I think, I don't even know what this is, if it's Signature or something. Maybe that's the name of the album, just Squiggle. But here he is on the front, very blurry photo, but that's the style, I think. In a red zip up jumper looking quite, um, what's the word? Chavs. <laughs> the makeup's pretty cool though, with some glowy cheeks, love that. And the back is, I don't even know what that is. Ice, hair? Holy story rising from the shallow, got a face against the devil, higher fire looking into the cold blue eyes. That's lyrics from Nightwalker. I know that because I've listened to that song a million times in the last few weeks, trying to learn the fucking choreography. SM Entertainment, they do have some good idols and 10 is one of them. This looks pretty standard. It looks like we know where the um, inclusions are here because there's a big gap. So it's not repackaged? That's what do you mean? Like how it yeah. Okay. Why you think it looks shit? It just doesn't look as like, Neat as oh God. most of them do. Neat work. Yeah, work. Bad, bad, bad. Oh my God, I made a meal of this. Oh, that's kind of nice. It's like a little raised part on here. I'm assuming this is his sig signature. I'm gonna pull all this stuff out and chuck it to the side. So we can have a little look at the photo book. 10 is extremely hot, so I'm looking forward to seeing 
what the go is here. Oh, okay. Is this one of the inclusions? Like, this is your poster, people. Oh, this is quite nice though. Eyeball photo. Uh, so this must be his hair then. That answers my question about what that was. Cause that's <laughs> basically what that is, right? Um, I guess it makes it look a little bit more fancy with this dust cover. And here we have him in the combo with the pants, even more chav, but it does have some uh, sparkling embellishments, which makes it a bit more 10. He is quite extra. So love to see the sparkle. Looks like he's put like some red, some of that like red hairspray in that you can just like put over to make it look slightly red. Standing in front of pieces of artwork of himself. What a mood. Ooh. Oh, switch up already. I only got a couple in the Chav outfit and now we're in, I don't know what to call this, fur biker jacket. It's this one blue contact. One of his eyes looks super milky. It's pretty nice. For the recording, um, everyone wore like black mesh because that was the easiest thing that he wore in the music video. The best outfit was probably this one where he wore this pink fluffy jacket. I guess we might see that in one of these albums. There were two people actually who they did the look where it looks like he's got a sweat patch like on the front of his shirt. It's it's such a weird look. Like he does kind of pull it off, but honestly it just looks like he's been sweating on his shirt, but that's the design. Yeah, so it's like a full milky contact. That's creepy as bro. Ooh, so much blush. Obsessed. Look at the little shorts. Let's snap his little legs. Whoa. It's kind of Manson-esque <laughs> with the eye. Very Manson coded. Very Manson coded. Get to work. These photos are all very samey. Ah, right, now we're back to the red. Is it all just one shoot? I don't know. No, it's two shoots, but well, maybe in the same area. Doesn't look super varied. <gasps> little stomach peak. He looks like Utah here. They always have looked slightly similar. There's this particular look that SM really likes. So you often see similar features um, throughout the idols that they choose to be in the company. I think it happens for a lot of different entertainment companies. They have this certain look that they really like. Ten, Taeyong, Utah all have like really similar features. That especially, if you just looked quickly, you could think that that was Utah for sure. Is that the same? These pictures, seriously, they all look the same. I'm not too impressed with this photo book, to be honest. Oh, that's pretty cool. What even is that? Just eating metal. Pretty. I really like the shiny look on the cheeks. Yeah, what is that? Do you think it's designed for that? Like that's the purpose of this item? Well, it goes down the middle of your face and then... Yeah, and then you have to bite on it. There's been weirder things in fashion, let's be real. Oh, near in the hour. So I've been waiting so long, hiding my power. I could sing the whole song. After the calm lies the storm, been walking the wire. Don't even know just how close. Cause only an hour, mate. I've come, come to fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is Nightwalker. The song's all in English, so that's kind of nice. I think this whole English, this whole album was English. Yeah, it was. It's a good album, actually. Here's all the lyrics at the back, as usual. And more blurry photos of 10 in the same outfit. And there's a CD. Not impressed, man. That's gotta be one of the most boring photo books I've ever seen in my life. Sorry, 10. Do you think it's like, they feel like they don't have to put the effort in? Cause- Cause it's 10. People are gonna be like, oh, it's supposed to be like that cause it's arty or whatever, rather than it seeming like low effort. Maybe, or they just decided they didn't want to spend money on it because he's not Korean, he's Thai. They don't treat the foreign idols as well as the Korean members. So maybe they just spent less money on his album. We should compare it to like Taeyong's albums because he's like the other golden child and he's Korean. So maybe those ones would be way better. I have looked at a couple of Taeyong albums and they are pretty good actually. I bought a couple of the Shalala versions and they were awesome, but I never looked at any of the tap ones and they came out around the same time. So that would be interesting to see how those compared. Maybe we're uncovering a conspiracy here. Do I think the Illuminati exists in K-pop? I'm not gonna- Possibility. Or just classic SM. Classic SM entertainment, just being fucking dogs. I'll be surprised. All right, well, I already looked at this, so. Postcard of the same shit. Oh, this is nice though. There's a little message on the back. Oh, he's drawn his little cats and a picture of him. I love that. 13th Feb, 2024 from 10. It's like he's written a postcard for you. 
I think that's what it's going for. And this is the stamp with the date. That's nice, actually. At least it's not just like a, a print of the same shit. Um, it's got like a nice little message on there. And, oh, let's see what else is here. That's the bullshit thing that SM always put in there. Dads. Yeah, don't need that. And a poster. Um, that's nice. That's clearer than any of the photos that were in the album. <laughs> so you can actually properly see like the styling. I don't think I even noticed how this was. I could see that it was bejeweled, but I didn't see that it was just like a big sparkly stripe down the, the sleeve. But yeah, he's looking great here. The makeup's really nice. All this um, gray under the eye, I think is super pretty on him. And I know that the photo card is underneath here, face up. What is that? That's something else. Passport photos. I don't think any of these would pass, you know, the stringent, this one would be too dark and this one would probably be too light. At least his hair's out of his face, that he's passing that one because it's all slicked back. That's cute, I don't mind that. And then I think we just have the photo card left. I'll turn it over actually. So then we can reveal. Reveal. Little message, lovely people. Tenley and the little kitten. Who do you think it's gonna be? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's giving it away. It says 10 on the back. <laughs> What if it's just his cat? There's like not even him on the photo card, it's just the cat. Well, okay, let's see if we get cat photo card. I don't know which version the cat one's in, so let's have a look. Ah, no cat, but I actually really like this photo card. This is the jacket I was talking about, the pink jacket. So I'm hoping the other version has some more photos of him in this outfit, because that'll be a lot more interesting, I think, than this one. But I love this, the facial expression is, um, I don't know, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? He's like growling, grimacing, I don't know. <laughs> Styling for this is so cool. Now he's got the short black hair. I like the necklace, that's really cool. Kind of looks like candy. No, I'm happy with this photo card. Maybe we can get the cat one in the next one. This one, he's the cat. Eee! Cute! I think it was a good idea that we did that one first because I did not really enjoy that one. Um, so hopefully this one is a bit better, a bit more exciting. Already looking at it, it's a bit more exciting. I really like the back of it. This is really nice. He looks so good. The pale blue. Oh, maybe I can put it this way and then everyone can see it better. Is the hair like, it's like slicked back. Is it, it's got those little like, looks like devil horns when they style it like that. I really like that. And the man that comes pulling a string. Oh yeah, so this is more lyrics from Nightwalker but different lyrics to the first one. And this one actually has the songs on the back. I don't think the other one did. 10, the first mini album. And the front is him in the same outfit, but just the face, just the face. Let's get into it. This plastic is all fucked. Look at it. Not good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh technique. my God. Again, this one has like the raised Ten signature on the front. That actually is pretty nice. It feels good. Let's see if we can get the inclusions out as easily as we did before. And we can. I'm excited about this one. I've got a good feeling. Hopefully when I open it, we've got enough space to have a look. Yeah, that looks good. I just can't move it from this exact position. <laughs> Ten in light box with his devil hair and the light blue outfit. Yeah, this one's better already. I can actually see the photos. <laughs> They're not blurry and dark. His skin looks incredible. What the fuck? Amazing. Oh, and we've got the lyrics at the front this time. That's a bit different. Can continue singing the song. <laughs> Josh is like, please, stop. I'll just check how long's left. <laughs> you want me to sing the whole song? We've got 27 minutes. Um, it's a nightmare, so persuasive. You shouldn't chase it, but I want it. I feel my heartbeat get distorted. Do you want me to include <laughs> this or are you just fucking? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. I love side profile pictures. Oh. <laughs> this page is just crotch. Giving the people what they want. Yeah. These pages feel really nice actually. There's different textured um, pages, are there? Some of them feel glossy. I think these, it goes glossy, non-glossy, glossy. Very strange. It feels nice though. Ooh. Staring into your soul. Oh, so they've just really um, distributed the lyric pages throughout instead of putting them all at the front or at the back. Are these all gonna be the same outfit? Surely not. 
It's pretty cool. It's like huge. <laughs> the fucking centre fault. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of. Well, it's not the centre. When we get to the actual centre, we'll see if that's even... Maybe we'll just be naked. <laughs> oh. That was embarrassing. What was that sound? <laughs> it's the photo. It was very suggestive. No, with a oh. Okay. <laughs> He's very hot. He actually look. <laughs> My voice is breaking now. He, he actually looks hot. He's like sweating. You're right. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> you sure you're not sweating? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a flower. Beautiful. Oh, that's the centerfold. Oh. That's kind of suggestive. It is suggestive, actually. <laughs> Maybe that's what they were going for. Okay, here we go. Concept change. Here's where you lose your virginity. Um, and now he's actually wet. <laughs> Love that. Well, this is very Temin. Not saying that anyone's copying anyone. Just, just yeah. having a chat. Just everybody copies Temin. I mean, oh, that's gorgeous. Shoulder out for the gaze. Oh my God. <laughs> That wouldn't keep you very warm on a winter's night, would it? I like this photo book a lot. Um, I like the size of it. It's not too big. Like some SM albums are ridiculously large. Actually, it's kind of off topic. But one of the new Zero Base One albums is actually the biggest thing I've ever seen. I saw it at a K-pop store yesterday. And yeah, I'd seen it in TikToks and stuff, but seeing it in person was just, I don't know. It's probably like three times as big as this. I don't that's, know where I'm going to put it. And that's the biggest thing you've ever seen. <laughs> The biggest photo book I've ever seen. I was gonna say, have you ever heard of buildings? <laughs> <laughs> Loving this. More flowers, flower imagery. Very sexy. Got the nips out. Ooh. These black and white photos are beautiful. Sepia tones. More flowers. Orchids, I believe. Oh, he's so pretty. So pretty. Oh, that's interesting. What do you call those? When you put those artificial things under your... Like implants. Yeah, but it's like prosthetics, prosthetics. That's cool, I like that. You can see his tattoos here, which is always nice. Little butterflies. Hmm. In some of the photos you can really see those spikes and then others you can't. Is it like only on for some of the photos. Showing like the dark side of him and then the light side maybe. Oh, his eyes are so pretty. Cat eyes. Oh, I like that. That's probably like one of my favorite photos in here. Just love side profile. That was gorgeous. Yeah, if you're gonna buy a version, definitely get this one and not the other one. Let's have a look at the inclusions. Maybe those are gonna be awesome too. Um, I might just do a bit of a flip. Oh, I think that was good. <laughs> Um, we've got the CD here. It's in a little sleeve this time. Let's have a look at what's on it. Some flowers. That's a lot nicer than the other one too. And we have a poster. I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> I would have preferred if it had that side profile photo on it that I really liked, but maybe that wouldn't be so popular with a lot of people. They want to like see his eyes a bit more. Yeah, it's kind of nice. I think I like the other poster better actually. So that's one thing I liked about the first version better. Oh, what else we got in here? Another little postcard in his little light blue outfit with another little letter on the back. Just landscape this time with a flower stamp. Those little drawings are so cute. Obsessed. And then we have the SM thing. And, oh, this looks like it's supposed to be looking like an actual old photograph with um, the print on the back and it's got the date um, in that font that they used to use in the 90s on the back of photographs. Um, but then the front of it just looks like a, <laughs> not a photograph. That would have been cool if they could make it look a little bit more like a 90s photograph or something. That would have been cool. And the photo card. There's cat drawing on the back. Does that mean we're going to get the cat photo card? Let's see. Do you think it's going to be 10? Nah. Nah. Let's go. Yay, kitty. <laughs> oh my God, so cute. Little blue eyes. Adorable. I think this is his new cat. It's either Louie or Levi. I'm sorry, I don't know which one it is. All of his cats are super cute, so I love it. You did it. Yay! Everyone was like so obsessed when they saw that um, there was gonna be photos with his, his cats. I'm so happy I got one of them. I'm pretty sure there's multiple like with his different cats. I'm very happy about that. 
another win for this second version that we looked at. These are my photo cards that I pulled from Ten's new album. Well, his first mini album, just called the first mini album. This is the one that I got from this photo book version. And this one is the one that I got from the big photo book version. Super, super cute. I think it was worth getting those albums um, for $25 just for these photo cards because they are absolutely amazing. They're so, so cute. And I'm really happy that I pulled one with the kitty. Have you guys picked up Ten's albums? Did you get one of the cat photo cards that everyone's been clamoring over? Let me know below which version you liked better. And if you said the first one, then you're definitely wrong. <laughs> If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean so much to me. Stay tuned for the next part of my unboxing extravaganza. Please leave a comment because I love hearing from you all and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. I get such nice comments from people that don't even know me and it's like so heartwarming. So I'm pretty sure there's multiple ones with his cat. Now I need them all. Go on to kpoptime.com.au and score yourself some deals. <laughs> I'm so lame. If we got come across it, I'll show and you'll be like, this is the most fucked shit. I feel like I'm saying random sentences. What are you, what are you trying to say? <laughs> nice. I didn't touch the chair that time. Yeah, floating arms is a lot though. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> is that an owl? I sound so annoying. Well, that's okay. At least you know you are. Get something. I'll get one of your guitars and whack you with it. No. No, not my guitar. Sometimes I don't understand your jokes. What do you think? That was pretty shit, wasn't it? Well, again, I'm sitting on the floor. I can't <laughs> see it.